think I wasn't expecting you? I'm ready for you! All of you! Why, who the hell are you? Get off my property before I shoot you off! Chat! Aha! Uh -huh. Interrogation and manipulation, misinformation and lies! You can tell them I'm immune now! Got me a Class A, military grade bullshit vaccination! Now last chance, get off my keep! to be blamed for your work malfunctioning, for being the guy that killed all those people, when not a face in the world has anything but a sneer for you. You know that? Do you? They framed me! I don't do accidents. The faceless bastards stop at nothing! They don't get the looks, the eyes. They hide. It's us that are naked. I'd sooner unload a 12-gauge in my face than have anything to do with them again. And you can't make me. Damn right I would. Started small, they did. Testing for cracks. Feelers, we call them. A ghost alarm here, a de-locked door there. It was enough to tell me that someone had gotten into the system. I stepped up protocol, auto-patching a set of exploitables, and sure enough, the feelers stopped. I'd built a fortress so tight, a gnat couldn't fart in there without me knowing about it. But that just pissed them off. With their best hackers strung up to the walls, they went plan B. I had no protocol for betrayal back then. <laughs> you bet your life I do now. They bribed our own people. People I call friends. They sabotaged the system's expression codes so that when the raids on our site started, so did the deaths. There was a burglary. The guy got hit by a sentinel point blank. A conflict in its desist parameters. Shoot enough rubber bullets at five meters and you can still take off a guy's head. Second one got locked in a room suffocated. Two more killed in a depress explosion. It wasn't my system anymore. It was just made to look like it was. <laughs> but my colleagues, they blamed me. Then the trial began. The decker's been doing your induction, I see. <laughs> yeah, the complex. Them black clouds in the sky. Powerful. Everywhere. They own all kinds of corporations. Got salaried ears in every government and every organization. Samio's theirs for sure. The bastards who went after us at i -Corp Corp. I know of others, too. Hackers turn up pointers to this firm or that, but no one knows the full extent of their network. Clouds in the sky, like I said, big black ones. Make you shudder when they boom. If you know what's good for you, you'll stay out of their shadow. Do you think that anyone will hire me again after what happened? Can't work. What am I gonna do? Pay for a flat and a high rise with my misfortunes? I'm staying here, and when they come for me, I'll show them what an accident is. Forget it. The answer's no, and it's staying no. What do you think the signs are for? But, fine. Okay. Maybe you've gotten yourself a point. 
I'll switch the mines off. But the moment I see so much as a tumbleweed rolling the wrong way, they're back on. What? You spoke to Miranda? What are you doing trusting her? The witch will make you build your own stake to burn on. She was the one that brought me down. She brought all of us down. All for a buck and not even a goodbye. She doesn't know where I live, does she? You didn't tell her. She'll send them for me. Damn it, what have you done? She was my wife, you idiot. You heard it, my own wife watched me burn, tossed the match on me herself. They got her to snatch my access codes, system plans, all of it. How else could they fabricate the evidence? Evidence she pulled in court from her own briefcase that I bought her! What? Where did you get them? Let me see. recognition system. You don't even need to be face-wrecked by a camera. Just step foot in there and the sensors trigger the alarm. But I can disable it. The ST levels. Subterranean. Security access is tri-factor. Three key cards split between three key members of staff. The head researcher, chief safety officer, and the chump who took my job. You'll have to find each of them and take their card. I'll leave it to you to figure out how, but it's going to be more than just a matter of busting heads. Genius or not, I'm gonna need time to disable the recognition system. Why don't you try and find out more about those key card holders? Any info can only help. Now I know one of the three, the security guy, an old friend of mine. All right, let me get started on the hacking. If you drop by later, I'll tell you more about him. Great news, Blue. Seems we'll be able to get you in there safely. Well, kind of safely. And Richmond's right. You should dig up what you can on the key holders. Find dirt on them. And there, it could be gold. Tony's already ID'd the chief security officer, a guy named Mitchell Bryan. Drop by and we'll give you the lowdown. As for the head researcher, a woman, Elizabeth Sterling. We got nothing on her yet. Maybe Miranda knows her. Now, when you feel you're ready, come to me and we'll prep you for the mission.
Latex. Still busy with the defenses here. Strange being on the outside coming in, I tell ya. Not sure what's harder. Anyway, you need something. Never more of a pleasure. Where do I start? Well, after the trial shut us down, the complex took over Redwood Watts. They needed someone to fill my boots. Someone with my skills, but without the scruples. Someone who could make sense of what I'd program, of how my system worked. Where did they look first? To my buddies, of course. Buddies indeed. I never would have guessed who they'd land. Crash, a top-notch hacker. Oh, fearless. And as good as Decker. He hung out a lot of bigwig dirty laundry back in the day. We'd spar online together. I'd ask him to test my walls for exploitables. No one better at it. And I envied him. He had balls. Integrity. I was a cog in the machine doing the 9 to 5. He was out in the rain. A truth sayer. You lose a piece of you when an ideal falls away. As soon as Samio took Redwood Watts, the complex offered Crash my old job. The Judas jumped at it. Not a qualm. And not a damn for everything he knew I'd lost. Some paragon of integrity, huh? Well, that's Crash. You'll need to do a little digging first. Might need to leave your ethics at the door for this one. Crash made a lot of enemies back in his hacker days, and powerful ones as you'd imagine. He had to keep his world self well hidden. I didn't even know who he was. Guess the complex did, though. If you can somehow find out his real name, sure as hell you could use that as leverage. He'd part with his own mother to hold on to that mask. Now I, uh, did go to one of his hideouts once, and not many can say that, trust me. It was one of a bunch he had, for sure, but this one was by the Chinese gate, above that shoddy karaoke joint. Might be able to find something out there. And if you do, be sure to let me know.